Hey everybody, it's Uncle Scott back on the Quirky Reactions channel. And as promised, I am introducing as many people as possible to the world of Ren. And uh, I have been doing it with strangers. I've also been doing it with some friends that I have that have worked with me on other things in the past. And I'm so happy today I get to introduce you all to Tim. He's one of my favorite people. Tim! Hey, Uncle Scott, how are you? <laughs> I am great. <laughs> well, um, I would imagine congratulations on being an uncle to Wyatt. Thank you very much. That's so cool. <laughs> yes. Uh, and for the audience out there who doesn't know, uh, Tim and I have worked together a bunch of times together oh, yeah. before. And also with my brother, who is the father of Wyatt. Yes, so exactly. Kind of That's so exciting. All in the production family here, so to speak. <laughs> uh, so, Tim, I know you know nothing about Ren, right? Nothing whatsoever. But Great. you are, I know you're excited about him. So. Yes, I, you're, you're, it, <laughs> don't look at me, look at Ren, but I'm sure anyone in the audience who's watching will just see, I'll be smiling the whole time because I'll be so happy for you. Um, so, uh, oh, I did want to ask before we get started, though, sure. like, what kind of music are you into? Oh, my God, I'm into pretty much everything. Um, pop, uh, rock, uh, show tunes, um, even a little classical and a touch of opera every now and then. And um, yeah, so I, I kind of have a broad spectrum. Not really into rap or hip hop. I never got that genre. You know, it kind of came out after I had already kind of set the music thing. But anyway, that's on okay. me. <laughs> so, well, no, that's good though. So this is actually, you're a perfect person to show this to. Wonderful. Because Ren is actually known as a very good rapper. Oh, you're not about to watch a rap song, and you'll see okay. what I mean in a second. Okay. But I guarantee uh, people who are fans of Ren, which I consider myself one, were called Renegades. Renegades, uh, love yes, it. Yes, exactly. Uh, and I think anyone who's watching right now who's a renegade is actually excited that you just said <laughs> that you're not really a fan of rap, but you're about to watch this because it's so good. So anyway, I will. you and I can talk so, forever. So, absolutely. But, so what do I do? I just sit here and watch Ren. You're just going to sit there and watch Ren, okay. and uh, I'll stop it every once in a while, or we'll t and we'll talk about it, and we'll just go with it. Sound good? Yeah, that sounds great. I'm so excited. Look forward right. to it. Here we go. This is Ren by Ren. And I swear it's not a horror movie. I know that's how it looks right now. <laughs> Hi, Bren. I've been taking some time to be distant. I've been taking some time to be still. I've been taking some time to be by myself since my therapist told me I'm ill. And I've been making some progress lately. And I've learned some new coping skills. So I haven't really needed you much, man. I think we need to just step back and chill. Bren, you sound more insane than I do. You think that those doctors are really there to guide you? Been through this a million times. Your civilian mind is so perfect to always be lied to. Okay, take another pill, boy. Drown yourself in the sound of white noise. Follow this 10-step program. Rejoice, all your problems will be gone. Fucking dumb boy. Nah, mate. This time is different, man. Trust me. I feel like things might be falling in place. And my music's been kind of doing bits too. Like I actually might do something great And when I'm gone, maybe I'll be remembered 
for doing something special with myself. That's why I don't think that we should talk, man. Cause when you're with me, it never seems to help. You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one. Split in two, that makes one, so you see. You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me. I'm oh, damn. So that was two and a <laughs> half minutes already. Oh my god. This, this guy is intense. Right? Oh my god. And and the split personality, the voices, it's like the voices in the head that are, yeah. are battling. That's true for everybody. Oh my God. And just well, the the that beat is yeah. is very catchy. I like him a lot. I like him a lot. I, I was really excited to show this to you as well, because for those of you watching that don't know, I've seen you do like one man shows before and uh -huh. everything else. And so I thought you'd really appreciate that he's like, not only is he showing like, hey, I have this really creative side. But just like everybody else is creative, I have that doubt. And yeah, it like, right. you know, it talks down to me. Uh -huh. Just like all of us who are creative, we have that doubt that kind of talks down to us. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it will never, it just won't shut the, I can't that's, say the word up. <laughs> that's right. Uh, so one more thing I'll point out before we start sure, again. Sure, is, I like uh, him. You'll notice he's wearing a love. This is a live performance. Wow. Wow. So, it is multiple cameras, but for the most part, it's being done in one take. Uh -huh. so, wow, uh, which, that, I didn't catch that, yeah. Which I know you'll appreciate that too. Absolutely. So. Anyway, I'll back it up a little bit for you so we can get back into it here. Okay. With me, it never seems to help. You think that you can amputate me? I am you, you are me, you are I, I am we, we are one. Split in two, that makes one, so you see. You gotta kill you if you wanna kill me. I'm not leftover dinner, I'm not scraps on the side. Oh, your music is thriving, delusional guy. Where's your top ten hit? Where's your interview with Oprah? Wow, well, your Grammys ran nowhere. Yeah, but my music's not commercial like that. I never chase numbers, statistics, or stats. I never write hooks for the radio, they never even play me, so why would I concern myself with that? But my music is really connected. And the people who find it, respect it And for me that's enough cause this life's been tough So it gives me a purpose I can rest in Man, you sound so pretentious Ran, your music is so self-centered No one wants to hear another song about how much you hate yourself Trust me you should be so lucky Having me inside you to guide you, remind you To manage expectations, provide you perspective That thing you neglected, I get it You wanna be a big deal, next Jimi Hendrix, forget it Man, it's not like that Man, it's just like that, I'm inside you, you twat No, it's not, man, you're wrong, when I write, I belong Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song Ren sits down, has a stroke of genius He wants to write a song that was not done previous A battle with his subconscious, Eminem did it Played on guitar, Plan B did it Man, you're not original, you criminal rip off artist The pinnacle of your success is stealing other people's material Ren, mate, we've heard it all before Oh, she sells seashells on the seashore <laughs> Fuck you, I don't need you, I don't need to hear this Cause I'm fine by myself, I'm a genius And I will be great, and I will make waves And I'll shake up the whole world beneath us That's right, speak your truth, your fucking god complex leaks out of you It's refreshing to ask for you, say it instead of downplay it. Uh, music is all about the creative process, and if people can find something to relate to within that, then that's just a bonus. Fuck you, I'ma fucking kill you, Ren. I'ma fucking kill me, then let's fucking have you, Ren. I'ma do it, watch me prove it. Who are you to doubt my music? Cause I call the shots, I choose if you die. Yeah, I call the shots, and so I choose who survives. I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside. Wow. <laughs> wow, I love this guy. Oh my God, the raw truth, the just the uh, how again, it's the spiritual side versus the ego side. The the he really is nailing this. He's nailing it between yeah, that inner battle. My God. Yeah, I like to stop it here, too, because he's about to kind of go off a bit. Yeah. So that's why, like, yeah. Um, but I I. I keep looking over at you because you're, you're like, I can just see that you're like, you're totally getting it. So that's Oh awesome. God. Yeah. I'm in it. I'm totally in it. Definitely. <laughs> I, I almost felt bad stopping it because I didn't want to ruin your flow, but I just wanted to check <laughs> in and see how you were doing. So I'm uh, still here. I'm loving okay. it. <laughs> yeah. Without further ado, I'll okay. we'll keep it going. Who survives? I'll tie you up in knots when I lock you inside. <sighs> Newsflash. I was created at the dawn of creation. I am temptation. I am the snake in Eden. 
I am the reason for treason Beheading all kings, I am sin With no rhyme or reason Son of the morning, Lucifer anti-cry Father of lies, Mustopheles Truth in the blender, deceitful pretender The banished avenger, the righteous surrender When standing in front of my solar eclipse My name is stitched to your lips So you see, I won't bow to the will of a mortal Feeble and normal You wanna kill me? I'm eternal and mortal I live in every decision that catalyzes chaos that causes division I live inside death for beginning of end I am you, you are me, I am you, friend some time to be distant I've been taking some time to be still I've been taking some time to be by myself and I've spent half my life ill but just as sure as the tide starts turning just as sure as the night has dawned just as sure as the rainfall soon runs dry when you stand in an eye of a storm I was made to be tested and twisted I was made to be broken and beat I was made by his hand it's all part of his plan that I stand on my own two feet and you know me, my will is eternal And you know me, you've met me before Face to face with a beast, I will rise from the east And I'll settle on the ocean floor And I go by many names also Some people know me as hope Some people know me as the voice that you hear When you loosen the noose on the rope And you know how I know that I'll prosper? Cause I stand here beside you today I have stood in the flames that cremated my brain And I didn't once flinch your shape so cower at the man I've become When I sing from the top of my lungs That I won't retire I'll stand in your fire Inspire that me to be strong And when I am gone I will rise In the music that I left behind Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you We're a coimited different side Wow! <laughs> yes! Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my God, I love this guy. Just his interpretation, his, and again, have in, in because I've been in all of those places so many times, so many times. When you just have you're beating yourself down, and then another time is is well, how am I going to do this, and why am I here, blah blah blah, and then another thing, just a spur of hope, pops in there, and oh, he his interpretation of each one of those emotions is is brilliant <laughs> yeah and i don't know if you noticed i meant to mention it before but like when it's that like bad side talking to him the lights are flickering and everything yeah. else and then when it's the other side it's like you know straight on uh -huh. uh, i mean the lights are like always on uh so which i think is also kind of how it feels sometimes like you feel a little staticky in the right? brain Absolutely. when you're like getting mad at yourself you know what i mean yeah yeah nothing makes sense it's all uh, awry and yeah things are just out of control Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so there is about two and a half to three minutes left. Oh, I don't um, want to end. I don't want to end. <laughs> uh, I told you it's like nine and a half minutes, but it won't feel that way. Wow. Um, but so I'm just going to give you a heads up. Like at some point, uh, it's going to seem like it's over, but it won't okay. be. Okay. I, I, Good. What I'm, saying is, I'm not going to stop it again until the end of the video. Okay. Uh, Perfect. Perfect. All right. Here we go. Go, Brand. Ferocious, persistent, immortal like you, we're a coimented different side. <laughs> So he's unplugging the guitar here because see, it was mm -hmm. all that live performance. So. When I was 17 years old, I shouted out into an empty room, into a blank canvas that I would defeat the forces of evil. And for the next 10 years of my life, I suffered the consequences with autoimmunity, illness, and mm -hmm. psychosis. 
As I got older, I realised there were no real winners and there were no real losers in psychological warfare. But there were victims and there were students. It wasn't David versus Goliath. It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. And the more intensely that the light shone, the darker the shadow it cast. Mm -hmm. It was never really a battle for me to win. It was an eternal dance. And like a dance, the more rigid I became, the harder it got. The more I cursed my clumsy footsteps, the more I struggled. So I got older and I learned to relax. Mm -hmm. And I learned to soften and that dance got easier. It is this eternal dance that separates human beings from angels, from demons, from gods. And I must not forget, we must not forget, that we are human beings. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ren. <laughs> yes, 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 and yes. Well, what an evolved human being. He's yeah. he's really he's really um he's really on another plane. He's really this I haven't seen this type of genius in a long time, probably since like Prince or something. You know? Yeah. He's he's really remarkable. He's fresh, he's original, he's authentic. He's he I'm very very impressed with him. Very impressed with this guy. I was also really excited to ask you just because, again, you perform so much. Can mm -hmm. you talk a little bit about how hard you think doing this type of performance would be? Wow. Um, again, I don't know him, but I would imagine the preparation for it. Firstly, the song. I'm guessing it is a composition of his that he has written word for word, mm -hmm. bar by bar. And that's, it's very complex. It, it basically, it, it combines everything from classical to rock to, uh, to rap to pop to, I mean, it, it just has a, every, all the elements of modern day musical exposure that we have. And, and I, again, just the preparation for it is one thing. And, but again, you can see that he feels it. He feels every word, every note he plays is, is coming from a real and authentic place. Um, I, 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 I am so proud of him. I'm just, I just want to hug him because of, of all he's been through. And, and basically, um, I, cause I believe that we're all spiritual beings having a human experience. And he just put into a song the human experience. Yeah. He, he really wrapped it all up in a tight little black bow and <laughs> squeezed it tight. <laughs> well, to give you an idea of how spot on you are, is he actually, so part of that story where he's like, I, you know, I lived with, yeah. I shouted out to an empty room that I would defeat the forces of evil. And then he paid the price for the next like seven to 10 years. Yeah. I was assuming uh, was he, he was, locked up for a while for psychological? No, he, was, he was misdiagnosed with all these like sci psychological issues. Oh my and that's God. why you hear him say during the song, he's like, take another pill, boy. Right. Like, I you know, listen to the sound that. of white noise, like, because he kept getting wow. prescribed all these things and it took them like, uh, I think it's seven or eight oh years to figure out that he didn't have the psychological problems. He had Lyme disease. Oh my God. So oh they were mistreating God. him the whole time. Wow. And so he's just now like starting to come back and get better. He had to have stem cell therapy and like do all wow. this stuff. Oh, like, I want to hug him. Even, I want to hug him even more. Right. Oh my God. And, well, that's I've why I'm saying when you said that, I was like, yeah, you don't even know. Like he went through the ringer. Wow. Like, this is what came out the other side kind of thing. Because again, in, in my, my life experience, I had developed a 20 year drug and alcohol addiction that along is, is kind of along the same line. It's, it's an unnatural um, uh, messing with all of your mechanics, you know, just yeah. like he went through, you know, and it takes years and years to overcome that. But his ability to, interpret 
it interpret his his human uh, experiences in music so so profoundly and just so in your face is excuse me I'm going to say it and brilliant. <laughs> Uh, there's no other word to say to yeah. you. I try. I held the f bombs the whole show. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I appreciate that, but I, I'm also not surprised that it came out. Um, I didn't even think about that in relation to like how it might like feel for like a former addict and how it might speak in that yeah, same yeah. same kind of language. That's Just again, that that negative, the the you know the two little angel or the angel and the devil on the shoulder and the, yeah. that whole bit. Yeah, just. He just, oh my God, I'm, I'm a huge fan of his now. Huge. So, fan. Uh, so my mission is accomplished. I have yes. turned you into a renegade. I am a renegade. I love it. <laughs> thank uh, well, you, Tim, Uncle Scott. Thank you. Yes, you're very welcome. And uh, Tim, thank you so much for watching with me. Of I really course, thank you. Uh, and any of the audience that made it this far, thank you so much for watching as well. And of course, uh, if you think that I should show Tim some more stuff, let me know and yeah. I will to bribe him, coax him to come back. I, I would love it. It doesn't take any bribing or coaxing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, I, I think we've definitely created a renegade. I love it. Uh, so that's going to do it for this one, this other reaction of uh, Hi Ren. Appreciate all of you. And uh, don't forget, don't wait for life to get easy to be happy.